Spider-Man does whatever a spider can. Spins a web any size, catches seeds just like guys. Look out, here comes the Spider-Man. How you doing ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Vic once again with another review of the amazing Spider-Man comic cat on it because I'm very skeptical about this statue, you know? Since I do have like, you know, the the Venom comic cat, I also have uh, the Iron Spider-Man and uh, the Carnage. Plus I have the Hobgoblin and the Green Goblin. So I want to make sure that this is in, in, in the same size area. Because usually when you refer to a comic cat, you're referring to a, a one-fifth scale. You know what I'm saying? So uh, Sideshow has been dropping the ball a bit, but hey. So let us start by removing the box out box. Of, of the box. Okay? Yeah. And it's a very small box. Everybody's been telling me. Shout out to all my peeps out there. The weirdest thing with this sideshow stuff, it usually takes four days to ship. For some reason, this took five. Now you can see here that there's wrappings coming out. You can see, like, you know, the little white paper that be in there. That's already out. So what I'm going to do is... Cut it open. Look at that made in China. The tape. For some reason, man, this seems like it was opened already and then resealed. So there you have it. Slip, slip, slip. Now, this is the bottom where it says made in China. Our friends from the Chinese government. Think about it. Why do you think there's so much quality control issues? I'm going to leave this here because I know in this compartment here, on the top of the top is um, the, the hands, the arms. All right. I'm removing the base. And it's semi-light, not too bad. And I'm going to remove the body. Now I've heard about this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay it down. separate from the wall, not too, not too bad. Alright. Let's get the arms out. Oh my god, I love the hands, man. Long fingers. Very long. They wrapped it like a Tootsie Roll. And that's one. The magnets are pretty strong. You can feel it. Never let it go, man, until you can feel the magnet pulling it in. Then you know you have a good seal. Yep, there you go. And there goes the arms. Now this version is the headless Spider-Man. It's a horror. It's a horror statue. Jokes. All right. So what I want to do is I want to put it with the regular head first. Now I'm going to tell you something. This almost looks like a, a this is a Jason Scott Campbell one. Wow. You see the creases on the neck. You see a line. It's not really flush, but what are you going to do? You know? I kind of dig it. Let me take a look at it myself. This is the first time he's seen it in, in, in person. But it's a fantastic piece. It's nice size, I guess. And um, what I want to do is I'm going to bring it over to my room and I want to set it up next to uh, next to my other statues of similar sorts. 
Look at this. The paper is stuck in the tape. You know what I'm saying? Like it was not really packed that well. Or packed really quick. Another miss by Sideshow, but... It's a great looking pose. It's uh, reminiscent of its predecessor, the original Spider-Man comic cat. But the original comic cat had a window. On the other side, there was an outlet. And uh, it was just an all-around monstrous piece. The Spider-Man himself was a lot bigger, uh, I can say for sure, and a lot meatier. And um, I'm not sure if he would have gone... I, I'm more than sure he would have went well with the other pieces, a lot more than he would. So I'm only hoping that he looks just as good, not only with Venom and Carnage, which are supposed to be bigger than him, but with the back and black Spider-Man and the iron Spider-Man, which he sh should be the same size. They're both comic cats, and they're, I mean, they're all comic cats, and they're supposed to be one-fifth scale. Now, here's a Peter Parker mask. Un I don't know why you say unmasked head. Some people say unmasked head. This one's a little more tailored than this one. The back sticks up a little bit. This one's a little more tailored. But here's my thing. This is not an unmasked virgin, version. This is just him with, his, with it up to his nose. So they kind of did a cheap copy of the Spider-Man movie where he kisses Mary Jane and he pulls the mask right up to his nose. Why would, why would he be doing this? Why would he pose like this to shoot his webs? That, that's... It should have been an unmasked version. It should have been a Peter Parker head. And it should have been a masked head. But still, you know what? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna display it with this head. I'm gonna display it with this one. Because I'm about the character. I'm not about Spider-Man's, you know, naked nose down. Alright, so here it is, guys, in all its glory. This is a Spider-Man comic cat. Um the paint job on it, it's alright, it's not so bad as I thought it was going to be. I've actually seen some pieces where it was just red, <laughs> you know, no lines at all. This one has all the black lines on it, looks pretty decent, shading looks good, color's not so bad, dark in some areas, but I guess that's good because it doesn't look so bad, you know. And it actually looks like he's hanging off the wall, and that's amazing, man. Henceforth, The Amazing Spider-Man. Well, anyway, guys, listen. Do me a favor. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And um, like. And leave comments. Alright? It's cool to look at my, at my videos. I appreciate it. I thank you so much. But leave a comment. You know what I'm saying? Even if you say, what's up, Vic? I'll, I'll do my best to do that again on all my videos. So, please, hit me up. Alright? So, anyway, have a good one, guys. Um, take it easy, man. I'll be talking to people on uh, Facebook and on YouTube. Okay? Peace out.